7 o'clock, now call this meeting to order. Would you all join me in the soup of five o'clock? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call. All five are present, James? Yep. Item four on our agenda, acceptance of uh, meetings of uh, minutes of October 18th. So moved. Second. Motion been made and seconded to accept the minutes of meeting of October 18th. Any discussion? Hearing that, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? I do. <laughs> item 6, acceptance of agenda. There's one 11th hour item, and it's the ballot for the MRC. There's one uh, position. We could dispense with it tonight, and uh, or we could table it. And I just want to make sure it was on the it was on our radar. How am I taking up tonight? How am I taking up tonight? I'll make a motion we approve the agenda with uh, with that eleventh hour. Yeah. Second. Have a motion. Yeah. Okay. 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 Motion be made and seconded to accept the agenda as uh, amended. Any discussion? All those in favor? Right, well. <coughs> this time I'm going to take and go to 9A, then we'll come back to 6. I agree. James? All right. <coughs> Mike, why don't you stand up with me? Sure. <coughs> wanted to. Uh, we invited Frank Whiting down here and uh, wanted to give some recognition. Frank was awarded uh, an ARP um, Andreas Award, and it's a it's the highest award that uh, ARP gives, and it's a prestigious award. Uh, and he received it for his community service uh, for Sears Sport. So it's really important that uh, we, because it kind of slid under the radar. I don't know who put him in for it, but. Uh, definitely needs to be recognized. Uh, we're very proud of Frank. And I want to read it because this goes into the permanent record at the, at the house. <clears throat> and Mike put it in. Mike caught it first and put it in for us. The state of Maine, be it known to all, we, the members of the Senate and House of Representatives, join in recognizing Frank Whiting of Searsport, who is the recipient of the 2016 ARP State Andreas Award for Community Service for his extraordinary public service. The Andreas Award is named in honor of the founder of AARP, Dr. Ethel Percy Andreas. <clears throat> the award is and symbolizes an individual's power and ability to make a difference in the lives of others. Mr. Whiting began volunteering at 14 years of age, and at 80, he continues his commitment to his community. He served as a volunteer firefighter for 46 years, has been a 4-H volunteer, and served in the National Guard. We congratulate Mr. Whiting on receiving this well-deserved honor, and we send him our appreciation for his commitment to his community and to the state. And be it ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 127th Legislature and the people of the state of Maine. Signed by Senate President Mike Thibodeau and the Speaker of House Mark Eves. Could you please come up? I would love to give you congratulations. Frank, anybody that does anything for 46 years deserves a sentiment, so <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Congratulations. Thank you for your service. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Some hands. Yeah. Well congratulations. I think it ought to be added, too, that Frank also served on this board, okay. yes. and he served a member of the school board one time, so. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, George is going to take a picture of him. So. You're not done yet. I'm going to more Frank. shoddy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What you do is you hold that open. I've done this before, Frank. Trust me. Okay? You go, and hold it down like that, okay? <laughs>
Thank Frank, you, Frank. Congratulations. Uh, I also brought the uh, what they gave me. Can we can we look at it? it? Sure. Awesome. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some weight to it. Oh my gosh! It and when did they present this, Frank? Holy cow! Tell us at the uh, Hollowell. Uh, Thank you, Senator, for being with us tonight. I, it was my pleasure. Now we'll go back to item six on our agenda. That is a uh, public hearing for junkyard uh, permit renewals. I get a motion. Make a motion. We go out of regular session into a public hearing. Second that motion. Motion remain seconded to go out of regular agenda and go into uh, public hearing. Uh, any discussion on the motion? And then I'll call for vote. All those in favor? 5 0 again. Randy has provided you a letter um, about the uh, junkyard permits that need to be renewed for this year. Um, it was uh, it's pretty uh, complete through the yeah. permit site. Yeah. Yeah. I have nothing to add to the report. Okay, this is for a new uh, junk cab permit for Dale Bragdon. Travis McAvoy, Mary Seekins, David Hersom, and Grimmel Industries. Is there anyone from the public who would like to speak about any of those? No comments from the public. Has been, everything been duly noticed, uh, James? Yes. Any comments from the board? Any questions? Okay, then I'll accept a motion to go from public hearing back to our agenda. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion remains seconded to go out of public hearing back to our regular agenda. Any discussion on the motion? Here now, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? 5 0. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask a question. But no, okay, go ahead. Any complaints for any of these at all? There, um, yeah, Randy had pointed out in his letter that there were. Uh, there was a complaint um, lodged during the loading of uh, one of the uh, <coughs> ships, the last ship. Um, uh, he did a site visit. The, the site was very well picked up. He, uh, everything was in the um, in, well within the bar barriers of the boundaries. Um, he was impressed with the uh, condition. It was not a planned site. It was a, a quick popping. Um, uh, the last ship, I uh, spent some time observing the loading and again, <coughs> he has no negative report to get, give. Uh, there was a, one complaint concerning the noise from the Sprague site and uh, he spoke to the manager at the Sprague site and uh, it was uh, a complaint that took place during the day. They didn't, um, there was no recording of anything. It wasn't done at night and it was uh, seemed to be within the uh, toler tolerances, uh, the 70 decibel tolerances. Uh, Did he do a following we, test? 
we did he didn't do any any no, tests nothing. of it to see what that level was and it was it was kind of I believe it was an ongoing sound but uh, again it was during the day so um, and that's one complaint and they've been open for a year right and I believe they've loaded four ships I, I, if we voted I wouldn't vote any different so I wouldn't I wouldn't <coughs> I wouldn't move to do that with somebody else wants to. We voted on that. Yeah. Uh, do we vote on these one at a time, James? It's up to the board. Okay. What do you think? Want to do one at a time or do them? You have two. Yeah, you want to do. Okay. I'm good with that. Uh, if I could say so, I'll make a motion we take them all at once. I'll second that motion. Okay. Motion be made and seconded to uh, vote on these in one package. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? All right, sir. Okay, and I'll accept the motion to uh, renew these permits. I'll move. Second. Motion be made and seconded to uh, renew the permits for Dale Bragdon, Travis McAvoy, Mary Seekins, David Hurston, and Gamel Industries. Any discussion? All those in favor? Five zero. Item eight, made over to the public. Frank, you'd like to say anything? <laughs> uh, one thing I did neglect uh, at the beginning of the meeting was to give the call in number for the night. 930 930-8189. 930-8189. I apologize for not getting it to it immediately. 9D, generator setup costs. <clears throat> yeah, we'd like uh, permission to move forward to uh, set up uh, the ability to use our emergency generators in this building, um, town uh, library, and the town garage. <clears throat> we got an estimate of 3550, uh, 3550 to uh, set them all up. In this building in particular, we actually have a surplus generator that we got from the military that runs on propane we'd like to set up uh, permanently. But in the other two buildings, it's a, a plug and a switch so that we can use the portable generators that we already also got from surplus and move them and warm up buildings if we had a prolonged period of the power being out. Um, in this building, with it being permanently set, <coughs> we would be able to run it and have some limited function of the building to heat and some lights. And mm -hmm. if, uh, if we had a long-term emergency, th this has been 20 years in the making. <coughs> uh, the ice storm of 97, 98, um, we talked about doing this. It, it's taken us mm -hmm. 20 years, but we're there. Um, this would complete that. We have all the generators necessary to, to, uh, to do this work. Uh, we actually do also have the switch in this. The fact that we found it, a propane generator suitable to actually place here was just just by luck to the surplus system. But uh, we'd like permission uh, to do that and with the funds coming from the respective reserve accounts. Building accounts? Yeah. Now what about NOS station? Did that ever get taken care Done. of? Done. Okay. I'm making a motion. Oh, you're right. No, I was going to say you the town recommendation of what uh, uh, I make a motion we uh, accept the start up cost of 3500 out 50 uh, out of the building reserves fund funds for library union hall and highway buildings so uh, second motion be made and seconded to uh, spend a total of uh, Thirty-five hundred and fifty dollars to power up uh, this building, the library, and town garage. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? That's a vote. Eleven 
Eleventh hour, you said ballot for. Yeah. The MRC has uh, the Municipal Review Committee, which is <coughs> our um, entity to deal with uh, directly with PERP, is um, holding an election, and there are several names um, on the ballot. I did attach to that one letter that came in from one of the candidates interested in, in uh, being on the board. Uh, the nearest one to us is a uh, 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 gentleman from Stockton, I think, the board will recognize the name. There's probably others that you that you know, but I don't have a recommendation. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. So the, the uh, candidates are Irene Belange from China, Gary Bowman from Oakland, Jim Guerrero from Hope, Wayne Crager from Stockton, Von Leach from Blue Hill, Susan Lassard from Bucksport, Chip Reeves from Bar Harbor, and Tony Smith from Mount, um, Mount Desert. <coughs> now, is Stockton uh, gone in with Stanley hey. Park? I'm not, I'm not aware. Uh, I don't know what their decision was or if they've even made it yet. What was the question you asked? Stockton did opt to stay with Yeah, them. I was going to ask that too, because we, we've opted to stay. Right. So I don't necessarily want to put someone on there <coughs> who wants to do the opposite. We don't know what Stockton wants. I don't know what any of those uh, communities have decided. We don't have to do this tonight if we don't <coughs> investigate it a little why, bit. Why don't we find out? Yeah, we can That's do my right. We find out. Normally we can do this right away, but what if there's the feeling more. is on these candidates. And yeah. So I move to table. Okay. Second. Second. Motion we made a second to uh, table the ballot for MSC. Uh, all in the favor? Okay. Five minutes. <coughs> Correspondence. <coughs> A few items in correspondence uh, tonight. The first item being a letter from uh, the uh, Faith Carol from the Beautification Committee thanking us for our uh, donation at town meeting of $500. <coughs> uh, the next <coughs> item is from the Maine Municipal Association. I had applied for a grant uh, for um, some equipment for the uh, Public Works Department, but we were We'd already bought the equipment, so they denied the grant. The next two items are from the Emergency Management Agency. Both of them you've already seen, but they've sent them again so that they remind us that there are some uh, funding opportunities for uh, farm operators with dry wells and for private well owners. And this has the contact information we posted on the front bulletin board. And I believe George has even put it on our website, but they want to keep reminding people that there is help out there. Next is the MRC membership. Uh, they had a board meeting they had a ground, and a groundbreaking ceremony uh, back <coughs> on October 26th. And um, there's some additional information from the MRC attached on the back of that. from Maine Ocean School? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have that. Uh, I gave it to you. The, the, the final thing is the uh, article in from the uh, Republican, uh, the Waldo Village Soup, uh, about the uh, launch event that will take place this Saturday from the Maine Ocean School. I just include the entire article so you'd be read up on it. I have a question, James, on the, um, the, the wells. Do you know of any um, wells that are dried up in Seaspawn? We had one call earlier in the year, um, and they were referred. Um, they actually went through the fire chief, so uh, I think that was taken care of. So. Yeah, so we're lucky with, 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 with this little rain we had. That's all the correspondence, correct? That's all. <clears throat> Item 12, uh, Treasurer's Warrant. I move we approve that pending our signatures. Second. Motion be made and seconded to approve the Treasurer's Warrant pending signatures. Any discussion? All those in favor? 5 0. Town Manager Report. <clears throat> in Public Works, many of the projects that the department started earlier in the year are now complete. 
The library steps and wheelchair ramp are done. <clears throat> the crew did a significant amount of cutting and ditching on the Savory Road. They were also able to get the wharf ramp repaid. <clears throat> Bob and I worked with a group of Boy Scouts to help rebuild the base around the Civil War Monument downtown. The project is nearly complete and already looks much better. In wastewater, I have no significant news. <coughs> Howard and Dan are both doing well. <coughs> in the Carver Memorial Library, <coughs> excuse me, the staff is doing well. Norman Otis continues the scraping and painting project that he started last month. He reports that the progress is, is going well. The ambulance responded to 40 calls for service in October. The crew did two inter-facility transfers and three ALS intercepts. The EMT class continues to be running smoothly. Both ambulances are running good. The fire department responded to seven calls for service and issued 23 burn permits in October. The chief would like to remind people to have their chimneys inspected and cleaned before they use them for the season. We received the new rescue truck and it still needs lettering, but the radio and lights are installed. It is ready for service. Uh, in code enforcement, Randy has been working with several residents and contractors on many ongoing projects in town. The police department received 170 calls for service during the month of October. All vehicles are up to date and serviced and running well. The chief attended the IACP conference in October. The conference covered many contemporary issues facing police across the country, including the use of force and body cameras, terrorism, and marijuana legalization issues. The training, related, uh, the training relating to all issues was excellent. We participated in the statewide drug take-back event on October 22, 2016, and collected 58.3 pounds of, of unused drugs. Carrie and the Recreation Department did an ex excellent job in planning and executing the fleeing to fall. She organized the soccer program <clears throat> with a plan to have the school um, after-school program take it over, unfortunately. The school program could not run it, and Carrie stepped up. The program was very successful, and we are now in discussions on how to run winter basketball. In the town hall, the election has started. At this point, we have around 400 voters in Searsport who have already cast their vote by absentee ballot. This will make the election day a little less hectic. The window dressing project started uh, last week, in the last week of October, upstairs, and that's going well. I have no significant news from committee. For the town manager report, uh, I move be accepted. Second. Motion made, second. Town manager report. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for vote. All those in favor? Right, sir. Department report. Yeah. I just have one thing. The county budget uh, kicks off Saturday, <coughs> Saturday morning over at the uh, courthouse. Uh, that will be the one where we will go through the budget and then there will be one more meeting that will be the public hearing where we vote on the final budget. That date hasn't been set. That's it. Right? Um, I actually have a question uh, to James. The early voting it, uh, ends Thursday or, or Wednesday? The request for uh, ballots ends, um, I believe it's Thursday. You can still come in. You could. You you wouldn't be able to. Um, my understanding is that's that's the end of uh, being able to request an early ballot unless there was a significant emergency. Okay, even coming to the office. But Correct. you can still submit a ballot that you'd already. Picked and if up. you've already requested a ballot, it's been sent to you in the mail, or you have it in your possession, uh, you can still submit that ballot. Okay. It's just there's a period of time uh, between Thursday and the election that, that you're not going to be able to get a, a new ballot. Is it actually Thursday or Wednesday at midnight? Uh, um, Sorry to do that to you. You've I, got me on the spot. I don't know not, the answer to that. I, I don't have the answer to that either. And, and uh, okay. anyone questioning that should call tomorrow and talk to one of, one of the girls in the office. It should be, uh, excuse me, it yeah, should please. be the... <coughs> Two days in the mail. It's delivered the second day. Right. Right. So if they've, if they've requested it and it's already on on its way, you can come in and turn it in. Yeah. So. If you if you mail it on a Monday, right. then I don't receive it. Yeah. It's not it's not so much about um, turning it in because you can turn it in. It's just requesting it after that day won't right. be, won't be allowed. 
turn it up later on. You can turn it up until election day. Right. Yeah. You can turn it in mail in whatever. Once it gets here by November 8th. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, James. No problem. I did ask. I actually I've always been confused today. about that. That's why. <clears throat> and it is, it is a confusing uh, issue. And anyone, anyone out there that has any sort of doubt, just go give the girls a call in the office. That's what they do. So. Matt, you know Yes, I attended the quarterly meeting of the Maine Preservation um, Commission, which met here at the Penobscot Bay uh, Marine Museum Library, and it was very uh, informative as to uh, establishing um, historic um, commissions mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and uh, the qualifications for buildings to be on the register and different things. So I think it was a very informative meeting you know, that... Uh, that I was glad I attended. Yep. Yeah. No, thank you. I have one thing. I, I, I want to mention this uh, little Boy Scout project downtown. I'm a big supporter of Boy Scouts. Uh, this is a Eagle project by a young man from Belfast. Uh, this is one of several that have been done in this airport over the years for these boys to earn the rank of Eagle. And uh, all of them have been uh, a betterment to the town. So uh, congratulations to the Boy Scouts and uh, hope to see more of them. That's all I have. No one else? Any other board? Uh, let me just mention one. Dick's thing. got something. All right. Uh, no, <laughs> you, you have this in your packet. We'll talk about it Thursday night. Yep. we got a workshop Thursday. Okay. You got it. That's right. There's a workshop Thursday at 6.30. 6.30, right. yeah. I remember because Dick reminded me. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> uh, 15, open to the public. No calls. Okay. I know that Dick put it in his uh, column in the paper, but I just want to remind people that uh, you're able to relicense your dog um, now until the end of the year for the 2017 year. Um, all dog licenses expire on the 31st of, this sh of each calendar year on December 31st. So January 1, your dog license had expired. No uh, incoming calls? No calls. This time I'll take a motion to uh, go into executive session. The MRSA 1456 F. So moved. General assistance matter. Uh, Mark moved. Second. Book second. Motion to remain seconded. We're in executive session. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? And that is at uh, 729. I have a motion to what executive session? Yes, at 7.45. Second. Motion may be second to what executive session at uh, 7.45. Any discussion? All those in favor? Five and zero. And we care to make a motion on executive session. I'll do that. I'll make a motion for all three. As to, um, as, are these all coming out of January 1? As to uh, WP 1609, um, I move for 245.02, oh, okay. Um, and 1610.200 and 1611.150, all from Denny Lawrence. I'll second that motion. Motion to remain seconded to uh, take from. Uh, Lawrence. Is that coming from Jenny Lawrence? Yep. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Jenny Lawrence count uh, 245.02, $200. One hundred and fifty dollars. All in favor. There you go. And I move to adjourn. Second. Motion remains. Second to adjourn. All in favor.